a Baton Russian actress and a Baton Russian producer, director, and Baton Russian cosmonaut are in the express lane of the orbital highway to the International Space Station bearing down on the outpost for an arrival 42 minutes from now. Good morning once again. From Mission Control in Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control, where flight controller are working with their counterparts across the ocean at the Russian Mission Control Center in the town of Karlyov outside Moscow bearing down and watching their data screens as the Soyuz MS-19 spacecraft with veteran cosmonaut Anton Skaflirov, actress Yulia Farisild and producer-director Klim Shifengo are in the final moment of their rendezvous for the two-orbit quick fast track. Rendezvous to the International Space Station with docking to the Rasbat module on the Earth-facing side of the complex. The schedule less than 42 minutes from now and 7.12 am central time and 8.12 am eastern time. This journey to the International Space Station began some two and a half hour ago with the launch of the Soyuz 2.1, a booster from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. As you see on the screen, lift up there. Lift of occurring at 1.55 p.m. Baikonur time. The Soyuz out to the northeast to an orbit in clean 51.6 degree to either side of the equator. The ascent was perfectly normal. Everything went by the book and 8 minutes 46 seconds after launch, third stage shutdown occurred on the Soyuz booster. Later. The Soyuz automatically commanded its solar arrays and navigational antennas to deploy, as you see in this clip from the replay that occurred about two and a half hours ago. Since then, uh, all of the engine firings to uh, raise the orbit of the Soyuz vehicle to match that of the International Space Station have gone perfectly. No issues associated with any of the automated commanding uh, for the Soyuz, which now is uh, in the final stage of its race to catch up to the International Space Station. All of the systems have functioned uh, by the book. No issues associated whatsoever with the rendezvous to this point that is fully automated with the CORE's automated rendezvous system on uh, both the Soyuz and the International Space Station communicating just fine uh, with each other. Uh, if everything goes as planned, uh, this will be an automated rendezvous. However, the Soyuz commander Anton Shkaplerov in the center seat of the descent module of the Soyuz uh, will be uh, at the controls in the unlikely event that he would have to take over manual control of the flying of the Soyuz for its docking. You see in this crew portrait, uh, Shkaplerov in the middle. On the right is Klim Shapenko, the producer-director, who will be shooting the movie called Challenge that will feature Yulia Parasild uh, on, the, on the left in this crew portrait. Uh, Parasild, a veteran Russian actress, will be portraying a uh, surgeon who is uh, launched on an emergency basis to the International Space Station to conduct surgery on an ailing crew member. In this case, that crew member will be portrayed by cosmonaut Oleg Novitsky, who's aboard the International Space Station. Novitsky will be returning with uh, Parasild and Shapenko for a landing in the Soyuz MS-18 spacecraft on October 17th, Kazakhstan time. They will be departing uh, in the vehicle that brought Novitsky, Mark Vandehei, and Pyotr Dubrov to the station back in April. Uh, they will land uh, parachute-assisted landing in the steppe of Kazakhstan on October 17th, uh, Kazakhstan time late in the evening of October 16th, U.S. time. Shkaplerov will be left behind uh, to continue his mission on board the International Space Station. He will be at the controls of the Soyuz uh, MS-19 when it returns late March of next year with Vandehei and Dubrov for their landing. For Vandehei and Dubrov, they'll be wrapping up a 355-day mission on board the International Space Station. Standing by on board the station at this hour, the Expedition 65 crew, 
uh, led by the new station commander, Thomas Pesquet of the European Space Agency. He took over command of the station from Aki Hoshide yesterday. This is a, uh, a clip uh, of the uh, change of command ceremony that took place on Monday. Pesquet uh, becoming the first uh, French astronaut to command the International Space Station. That change of command ceremony uh, handed off uh, the keys uh, to the kingdom, if you will, from Hoshide to Pesquet, who is now the commander. Uh, Pesquet will hand off command of the station to Anton Shkaplerov, actually, uh, in... Uh, the range is 5 kilometers, 500 meters, and the range rate is minus 8 points. Before Pesquet returns home with the rest of the uh, Crew Dragon crew that he launched uh, with back in uh, April, Pesquet, Megan MacArthur, Shane Kimbrough, and Hoshide returning uh, to Earth. Uh, they will be uh, returning to Earth in their Crew Dragon endeavor to wrap up their long-duration mission. Pesquet, before he departs, will hand over command of the station to Anton Shkaplerov. The range is 300 meters, and the range rate is uh, uh, 9.56. Copy. Uh, monitor, uh, continue monitoring uh, the fly around, and also uh, the K-15 on display, uh, this final approach flag. Great view of the uh, Soyuz MS-19 flying over the Moroccan desert. Three hours since uh, the Soyuz launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Heading toward final approach for docking to the Rosviet module. Docking scheduled at 7.12 a.m. Central Time. Yes, I'm one, Yulia. The range is 270 meters, and the range rate is minus 0.4 meters per second. Copy, Astri. About halfway through the fly around, that will precisely align uh, the Soyuz with the Rosviad module. There will be a very brief period of station keeping so that uh, Russian flight controllers and Korolyov at the Russian Mission Control Center can evaluate uh, the alignment of the Soyuz with Rosviad. Can you see it through the window? No, I cannot. I can only see something blinking. Uh, Astray, the comm is pretty ratty. And we are selecting course two on the panel. And how do you copy? Range is currently 30 meters. And, yes, and I can confirm that the. Uh, okay, I have you loud and clear now. Copy that. Um, you may, um, so the pressure in SI-801, pressure okay. The hooks are uh, closed on both sides of the docking interface that now confirmed uh, through telemetry from the Russian Mission Control Center. So uh, the Soyuz MS-19 safely at port, and a Russian actress and her producer-director are on set at the International Space Station for 12 days of movie-making. Moscow, this is S31, so after the five-minute measurement, this SR pressure is 801. In BO, it is 826, and in the instrumental compartment, it's 893. The delta uh, in SR and BO is zero, and it is one in the instrumentation compartment, and the next measurement will be taken in 15 minutes. 
Okay, now we will have to wait for 15 minutes. Maybe uh, the calm will resume, hopefully. So, Alek, can you relay to Moscow that we have completed 57-page uh, actions and now we are on page 58, uh, the five-minute measurement uh, is complete? This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, crew on board uh, the Soyuz, Shkaplerov, Parasild, and Shepenko, uh, now uh, evaluating uh, all of their systems following uh, the docking of the Soyuz to the International Space Station's Rosviet module. It was conducted manually by Anton Shkaplerov, but, uh, and a few minutes behind schedule, but the docking occurring at 7.22 a.m. Central, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time. The docking probe uh, retracted as planned. Hooks are closed on both sides of the docking interface. Leak checks at that docking interface will begin a short time from now. Station Moscow. Face to ground one in the blind for Oleg. So, in uh, 2022, uh, uh, FYI, uh, we should have a, a stable we did combat the in about two minutes. So, Moscow Station, we will have to do a transition route to the... If you cannot uh, uh, secure it until it clicks, uh, you can uh, do it at maximum length and then secure it with a hook. Astrea, okay. Moscow. Go ahead, Moscow. It's a go uh, to transition to joint power uh, as per page 58. Copy. I'm sending B5 command. Interpreter, thank you. Ну, осталось нам камеры только проверить для репортажа. Ты можешь сделать по форме 24. Now B7 command is being sent. The one command. And I'm taking 15 minute measurement, but actually we don't need uh, any more measurements. Uh, that's all? Yes, that's all. The one uh, joint power. Moscow, Astrea, one. I completed all actions as per page 58. Copy. So you're now on joint power, on uh, the joint power with the station. Yes, uh, the LED is illuminated. Copy. Just for your reference. The SKV 128 and 0 will be entered. Copy. Astray, now go to page 59, uh, SABO hatch opening and transitioning to BO. Copy. Page 16. No, it is 59. No, page 16. Opening of the hatch, equalize the pressure, open the lock of the cover of the hatch, and so on and so on. Okay, so let us start uh, taking off uh, all the straps so that it is not in the way. Okay, it won't be in the way. Well, we can actually uh, switch on lights here. So why are we in the dark? Yes, of course. I can buckle it up like this so that uh, it will be more comfortable for you to take it. Yes, of course. 
Потом КСС Г2, МКУЦ и ЦВКУ-2 выключены, все светодиоды погасли. Well, can we release uh, the straps here? Uh, well, but you know, you will start moving uh, upwards. Yeah, but you can stretch your legs. All right, so uh, we should start equalizing pressure between SR and BO. Okay, so in SI it is 801 and in BO it is 825. Now let us start equalizing the pressure, monitoring equalization. Moscow as 31, we are equalizing pressure between the descent module and orbital module BO. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, just to recap, um, despite uh, some uh, communications issues uh, that uh, forced Anton Shkaplerov, the Soyuz commander of the MS-19 vehicle, to take over manual control of the flying of the Soyuz for the final few meters and its final approach for docking, the uh, link up to the International Space Station's Rosviet module did occur without uh, incident. It occurred normally. A few minutes behind schedule at 7.22 a.m. Central Time, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time, as the Soyuz and the station flew 260 miles just north of the Philippine Islands. The docking probe on uh, the Soyuz retracted and hooks closed on both sides of the docking interface to form a hard mate between the two vehicles. Shkaplerov, Russian actress Yulia Parasild, and her producer director, Klim Shapenko, are now at the International Space Station. They will begin a series of leak checks that uh, should result in the opening of the hatches between the Soyuz and the International Space Station around 9.05 a.m. Central Time, 10.05 a.m. Eastern Time. We will be back on the air for hatch opening coverage about 40 minutes from now at 8.30 Central, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and we'll follow along as uh, pressure and leak checks are conducted and the depressurization, the repressurization of the small vestibule, the small passageway between uh, the Soyuz and the Rosviet module takes place that will lead to the opening of the hatches and the greetings uh, between the crew members, the Expedition 65 crew led by Thomas Pesquet of the European Space Agency, who is the new station commander and the newly arrived inhabitants of the station as 12 days of movie making will begin for Parasild and Shapenko for their movie called Challenge. Once again, docking occurring a few minutes behind schedule, but nonetheless successfully at 7.22 a.m. Central Time, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time. So don't go away. We'll We'll be back uh, shortly at the bottom of the hour at 8.30 a.m. Central, 9.30 Eastern with our hatch opening coverage for the Soyuz MS-19. For now, this is Mission Control Houston.